Hey there guys, it's your good pal Wiggly, and welcome back to more Let's Play Celeste Blind. In the last episode, we did level 8B, the final B-side in the game, and silly me, I thought that meant we were almost done, but to my surprise, we unlocked two things at the end of that level, golden strawberries and seasides. Let's talk about that for a second. I will be doing all of the seasides, even harder versions of the first eight levels. Uh, Farewell does not have a B or a seaside, I've been informed. It is just one very long, very difficult level. And it was recommended to me that if I do plan to tackle the seasides, I should do them before Farewell for two reasons. One, Farewell is considered harder than all of the seasides, which is terrifying. Good lord. Uh, two, it feels appropriate. Because Farewell was added as DLC much later after the main game, and everything except Farewell, from what I understand, was in the vanilla game. So it feels appropriate to complete the entire vanilla game, at least in my own words, we'll talk about that in a second, before tackling the DLC. Difficulty scaling aside, so there's really no reason for us to do Farewell beforehand, and I don't think a single person has recommended me to do Farewell beforehand. Secondly, I want to address golden strawberries. I have been informed what they are in between episodes. And look, I'm a completionist, but I got to draw a line in the sand at some point. Um, I was told that golden strawberries are at the beginning of every level, including B, Seasides, and Farewell. To collect them, you have to grab them at the beginning of a level and then beat the level without dying. If it was just the A-sides, I might have considered it. But I can't imagine doing 6B, 7B, 8B, even 4B sounds like a stretch to me to do Deathless right now. And considering there are even harder stages that we have yet to see, obviously, if I decided to tackle that, I would get mad burnout. And we'd be doing Celeste as a Let's Play for I don't know how long, years, <laughs> probably. But I will make a promise to you guys. I'm not going to promise a set schedule for it, and I'm not going to promise that I'm going to get all of them, but if I do feel the desire to go for some golden strawberries, I will live stream that. So if you guys want to see that, make sure to follow my Twitch in the description, and just try to catch me when I'm live. If I do complete a level with a golden strawberry, I will upload the clip to YouTube, but I'm not going to upload full VODs or anything. Okay. Without that, or with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started with our first uh, seaside. Level 1C. Okay, the song is the same as the B side, it sounds like. Uh, this already looks pretty intense, but not like insane. I'm glad that we get to listen to all the uh, the B-side remixes again, because all of them, I think, I think except level three, all of them have been more enjoyable, in my opinion, than the original tracks. Not that I think the original tracks are bad by any stretch. I have to remember that I don't have two dashes anymore. I think it would have been cool if, for the C-sides, they... Since you can only get it that late after doing all of the B-sides, um, I think it would have been really cool if they made levels designed around having two dashes with these earlier mechanics. But I, I can kind of understand why they didn't, I suppose. Okay, well, this first room's already pretty crazy, but nothing unmanageable yet. Oh my god. Okay. Just chaining together dashes. I'm also curious how long these are going to be, because I think almost every B-side took me less time to complete than the A-sides, because one, I was getting used to new mechanics in the A-sides, and I was already used to them by the time... Oh, I see what I need to do there. Um, I was already used to them by the time I did the B-sides. So... And, uh, I lost that train of thought. Good lord. My brain is already just hyper-focused on the level. I apologize. Okay. So let's grab the gem. And ha-cha. 
and Cha. Oh, also, I remember. I, I can finally complete this thought. Sorry. Um, the other reason why the B-sides took me less time than the A-sides, for the most part, is that uh, I didn't have to pay attention to story. That's why. I'm glad that thought didn't just hang in the air for me to hate in editing. Because sometimes that happens. Sometimes I edit a video, and I get really annoyed at the way that I talk and the way that I try to express things and my dumb references and stuff, but almost a thousand people now seem to enjoy it enough. So, you know what? I must be doing something right, I suppose. Okay. Man. What a first room, dude. Oh, that's much easier. Okay. Okay. One of the reasons that was so hard for me... Ah, I figured it out. Okay. I've been jumping before I dash. I don't know where I developed that habit, but just dashing right off the block makes it a lot easier to time. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Let's go. Okay. Whew. What a first room. Okay. We have blocks that are definitely going to fall the second I touch them. And then... How long is this room? Not that bad. Okay. Um, I've been building this up in my head, and so far... Uh, fingers crossed, knock on wood. Uh, it has not been as crazy as I made it to be in my head, but this is 1C. We're not looking at 6, 7, 8C. Okay. Um... Damn, that's a really precise gap to fit through. Hmm. Okay, well, let's give it a shot. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, let's give it a go. Oh, okay. That falls incredibly fast. Okay. Do we just need to commit? Oh, that might be possible. No, okay. Again, my brain is like, you have two dashes, and that's a lie. Okay. Maybe I need to, uh, to not hyperdash. Only if there's a room where I think it seems particularly helpful. Okay, there's no way we're going over that. But then I have another idea here. What if we just did that? Yeah, that'll work. Maybe I'm making it a little bit harder on myself, but... Eh. We just went, hup. And... Oh, come on. I was right there. Yes. Very cool. Okay. Not too bad of a room. All right, that one's gonna that one's gonna go down, and then we need to go. Ooh, okay, up and over. Grab the other side. How are we gonna get from this block, the second block, to the third though? Yikes. Okay, I definitely need my dash there. That's how. So we can't. We need to hop over that first block, and then. Oh, wow. Okay. That's the end? Already? Three screens? That's surprisingly short. Okay. Also, a uh, yellow crystal heart. I guess that makes sense. We have the primary colors of light. I worded that weirdly. And actually, the colors of light are red, blue, green. So, you know, ignore me. I definitely don't have an associates in graphic design <laughs> or anything. Okay. That second block moves a lot slower than I was expecting it to. So that's somewhat good news. Okay. We've got the right idea. I also realized that I didn't really look at the rest of the room. I kind of just noticed the crystal heart and was like, oh, cool. Okay. So then we... I gotcha. I gotcha. I don't know where that block's going to move. We're going to have to feel that one out. 
Okay. Let's just go for it. Damn. That's also a really tight jump. Uh, that's not gonna work. <laughs> I need that dash. Okay. Bounce. Try that again. Bounce. Up and over. Man, that's tight. You have to be, like, on the top of the damn block. I also just realized... Oh, wait, no, I'm not. I thought for a second that I was running off of one stamina pool in this whole section, but we get our stamina back here. Not too awful. I'm having a lot of trouble determining when to jump off of sideways moving blocks, because we haven't had to worry too much about that yet. Ooh, okay. That one went much faster than I was thinking it was going to. Okay. Okay, okay. We're sitting nice. Okay. Oh, okay. I gotcha, I gotcha. We need to do something here. I can't express it right now. I've got to focus. I'm worried that my commentary for the seaside is going to be very poor because I'm going to have to, like, focus like crazy unless we can just uh, get into a flow state. Then it'll be all Gucci Pucci. Okay. I promise to never say that again. Actually, that's a lie. I say that quite a bit IRL. So uh, deal with it. Okay. Getting kind of consistent at that first part. Good news. There we go. Oh! Okay. 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 We're going to launch up. And we got to dash right. Okay. But we're not going to, like, immediately launch up. Oh! Okay, I thought for sure I was going to hit that spice ceiling. Whew. Okay. Well, that was pretty harmless all in all it didn't have a name either I'm glad that I get to see this art again because it's pretty nice okay but once again that was surprisingly short 73 deaths I mean I'll take it okay you know what just, uh, as a little treat, I figure, you know, we may as well go for one of them, right? At least one A. Okay, so this is a golden strawberry. I like how it has a crown. You know, I figure that going for one A's golden strawberry feels appropriate. At least doing one of them, right? Okay. Hacha. Another reason why I'm hesitant to do the Golden Strawberries in the Let's Play itself is because... What the hell am I going to say <laughs> about levels that I've already played? Oh my god! Okay, okay. I don't even remember the pathing through this level, to be honest. Okay, okay. Doing pretty good so far. And up. And keep going. Alright, be careful. Don't get too crazy now. Look, if I can't do 1A first try, what kind of gamer am I? A bad one. That's what. That was close. Okay. Um. Alright. We're not going to be too dangerous here, but, you know. Oh no, I'm so dumb! <laughs> Fuck me, dude. Oh, I need to grab it again. Ugh. Okay. There. <laughs> I just need to to be a little less ridiculous and dumb. Okay. Let's go ahead and go hup, 
why am I trying to do wall bounces and stuff? I need to just slow down and play the level normally, but it's all so fun. All the mechanics are so fun. But I shouldn't do them. I shouldn't do them. Not when trying to go for gold. Oh. Okay. 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 Yeah, we did it. First try. That's a cool sound effect, by the way. Oh, okay. Well. <laughs> by my own description, I'm a bad gamer. Also, it did add a strawberry to my total. So, uh, that kind of stinks that it's not technically the max, but you know what? Again, I gotta draw a line somewhere, right? Ooh! I like that the, uh, the, the paper is different now. That's a cool... I like that they, they show. Does it show on here, too? Not in any noticeable way. Okay. But I like it, I like it when games show you that you completed things. I like checklists and whatnot, so... Yeah. That's pretty awesome. Oh, you can rearrange these? Weird. Okay, well, anyway, thank you all for watching this episode of Let's Play Celeste Blind. I've been Guildmaster Wiggly. You know what?